Hi guys, it's Trevor Laird here, and this is Excudo Talk episode number nine. Now, of course, we're gonna start out with revealing the winner of our $10 weekly giveaway. After that, we're gonna dive into the big question that you guys have been sending me. Who are the initial four exchanges that are gonna be connected to the multi-broker? I've reached out to Excudo and I've got that answer for you. After that, we'll look at the system health check, our Excudo market news, and then we'll look at our global crypto news as well. And that will be it for this week. So let's not delay and let's get started. Now, starting with my favorite part, the $10 weekly giveaway of EON has been sent out. So if this is your address above, and I know you know who you are because you sent me a message on channels right away, then you are this week's winner. So anybody who's watching this video, please uh, put your EON address in the comments below on either this video or the express version, and you will be automatically entered for next week's $10 giveaway. Now, if you're not comfortable, guys, with revealing your EON address within the comments, that's no problem. Simply download the desktop client and create a new address that you can use as a transfer vessel, and uh, then you'll be able to post that without any uh, privacy issues or concerns, because we are really excited to spread out EON to as many people as possible, and every week this, continue, this uh, contest will continue, and hopefully we can spread it to the most people possible. But yeah, chances are good that you could be a winner. As the channel grows, it will be less and less. But right now, it's a great time to get in and post that address. So over the last couple of weeks, you guys have been sending me a lot of questions both on YouTube and Discord asking about uh, multi-broker and about what are the four base exchanges that are going to be connected to the multi-broker system when it launches. Now, I have been talking back and forth with Excudo on this. So a little disclaimer is that these, these names are not finalized, but this looks to be what it's going to be at launch for the system. The second disclaimer I wanna say before I mention these is that the multi-broker system is going to be launched in stages. So each feature of multi-broker will be added to the live exchange from the test network slowly, just so we can make sure that everything is working correctly. This is a you know, it's, it's a big deal here, guys, because once we're connected to these exchanges, users on those exchanges can opt to sign up for multi-broker and then have access to these exchanges, including Excudo and seeing EON and all that. So you want to get that correct the first time. So it's gonna be launched out slowly, piece by piece. Uh, everything will be tested and uh, yeah, it's very exciting. So uh, without any more delay, these are going to be the initial four exchanges for multi-broker. So number one, we will of course have Excudo. Number two will be Binance. Number three, Bitfinex. And number four, Kraken with OKX coming a little bit later. Now these are huge names, uh, major, major exchanges that are gonna be connected to this network. And you guys can only imagine uh, the opportunities that this is going to create for our ecosystem to connect with all those users if they decide to go and sign up for the multi-broker system. Very, very exciting. Now moving on to our system health check, you can see that all systems are operational and good. Last week we did have some planned maintenance on the exchange that was noted within the log and that planned maintenance was complete within its time frame. So all is good right now. Now on to the Excudo market news. I hope you guys are as excited as me to see the steadily increasing volumes hitting the exchange. If we look over the page right now, we had about or just over $400,000 USD being traded across all pairs this week on the exchange. Now we've been averaging anywhere from 200 to 250, 260. We even hit over 300 on uh, one or two of those weeks within the last two months but we have not hit over 400,000. Now we have, and this is an amazing sign of things to come in the near future. Now, of course, topping the volume on these charts was BTC USDT hammering $150,000 on our exchange this week in trading volume. So let's get over and take a look at that chart. Now, as you can see, all of those losses we were talking about last week 
have been recovered. It's amazing how it happens. There's a very steady rise. We're obviously still in a bull market here. I mean, 11,600 plus USD uh, as a price for BTC is excellent and it does seem to be steadily growing. This bull market is not going anywhere. So if you see these dips like we talked about last week, that is your indication to buy, not to sell. That is definitely the time to buy. Now, if you see a steady uh, decline, we have obviously multiple three, four weeks in a row of steady declines. You may want to consider um, hedging your position or changing things up a little bit. But overall, guys, we are still on a really str strong bull run with BTC, and that is going to affect and elevate all other cryptocurrencies around it. Now this week would not be complete without taking a look over at EON BTC. I really wanna point out this back and forth motion that we're having. Obviously we had the price go up to like a million EON per BTC and then it steadily dropped down into the 275,000 region and kind of stuck around there for quite a long time. And then you'll see the cyclical four times over bouncing cycle that we have that jumps it from around the sub 300,000 EON per BTC level up to you know 900 a million and then back down, back forth, back down. And Obviously, you can see from the thickness of those lines that there's not a lot of volume to represent that. So this week, what we had was the price actually got down into the 260s, which was a great price. I mean, thousands of dollars uh, could be very quickly made over the course of even the volume that we did have, but it's not steady at all. It ended the week around the 500,000 EON per BTC level. The important thing that I want to point out is looking at the all of the EON uh, values and charts right now is the price point that I would recommend is going up. I would not personally, this is of course my own personal opinion. I've been watch, watching this uh, chart and the growth of this cryptocurrency since it launched, all the craziness that's gone with it. I would not sell EON for less than four cents this week. Uh, just, just full stop. I would not sell it for less than four cents if you are looking to sell. You can see a lot of people putting buy orders in that are really, really hoping to catch people who are selling quickly. It's not worth it if you're going to. There's so much stuff coming up with multi broker. In the end, it's your money. It's your uh, choice what you want to do with it. But my recommendation again is not to sell anything less than four cents USD per EON. Diving over to our global cryptocurrency news, like we were just talking about with BTC, you will see that as we had that huge run up and then over the last week, week and a half, we had kind of a lot of red charts going across the board, that correction we were all expecting. But what you'll see here is BTC has recovered all of that dip. I mean, in I mean, 0.25 or so percent uh, is still sitting waiting to be recovered. But I particularly think, particularly think that we're going to have a bit more of a bull run going on with that price of BTC, and it's going to keep pushing past the 12,000 mark very, very soon. You'll also see some corrections that occurred uh, on Link and on uh, Ethereum that have also recovered, not only to recover their losses from last week, but to also go up past those previous prices. We have not hit all time highs again on these. Um, I think that for Link, it had a top end point of around $25 for me Canadian and sitting about $22 now, but Ethereum and all of those other cryptocurrencies that took a big correction last week, kind of reacting to the price of BTC are slowly having that full recovery and could be achieving all time highs coming up within the next two weeks. Now, ending the week, I want to implore you guys to get over to test.excudo.com. That's test.excudo.com. This is Excudo's test environment where they're able to trial out the different updates that are gonna be coming up in the future. So if you wanna peek into the future of the Excudo ecosystem and what it's gonna look like, this is the place to go. It's gonna give you a little sample there to see how multi-broker is gonna work. Um, it'll let you trade with, uh, you know, test, cryptocurrencies within the network and really see what the team is working out and looking at it now, it looks downright amazing. To be able to see uh, a single pair compared to another pair, to see where it's trading across all exchanges, to be able to arbitrage that way because you have access to those, wow, it's gonna be a really big step, probably the biggest step that we've had in the last two years for the exchange. And I'm really excited to see these features hit the main live Excudo network. Okay guys, that is it. That is all for the week. Very exciting stuff with Multi Broker. If you haven't already guys, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and spreads the Excudo 
ecosystem. Also, make sure to put your EON address in the comments below for your chance to win $10 worth of EON that we give away every week. Now, I also want to ask you guys uh, or mention to you guys that if you're worried about privacy for your EON address, no worries. You can download the EON web client that I will uh, put in the description with the instructions of how to get it going. And you can create as many new addresses as you like to be able to send that EON to. That'll probably open up the amount of people that participate in the contest. Uh, that's it. That's all, guys. So really appreciate you watching. For Excudo Talk, I'm Trevor Larry.